Okay, so today I am going to basically show you how to um, use aloe vera, uh, real aloe vera plant, um, along with some essential oils. So I am, my base here is olive oil. I didn't measure it, I just poured it in. Um, and then I have a few more oils that I'll add to that in order to um, help to replenish your hair. So the aloe vera helps to clear your scalp. So when you're scrubbing your scalp, you're scrubbing all of the um, dead skin and all of the buildup product. <clears throat> and then while you have the aloe, the aloe works as a moisturizer for your hair. And it's also um, really healthy and it really makes your hair really, really soft. So um, the olive oil, um, and then we have, we have a few different oils, so just bear with me. Um, and I use all of these oils every time I wash my hair in order to keep my hair moisturized. Um, so, okay. <clears throat> So pretty much I, I take all the oil and I put it all in one um, container after I finish not to mess it up or waste it. So I use um, jojoba oil. Um, I use uh, vitamin E oil. I use black castor oil. Um, I use almond oil. And I'm missing an oil. Hold on. Oh, where are you? Uh -oh. Okay. <clears throat> I use peppermint oil and I use rosemary oil. So those are all the oils that um, I will be putting in today. I don't have any specific measurement. So I, I just pretty much, you know, pour some in. Um, maybe I should have a specific measurement, but I don't. Um, and then one last secret ingredient that I'm gonna show you that I use. Um, and it's no, it's no order to how you um, put your oils in. You just pour a little bit in. Have thyme, sweet almond oil. I don't know if I showed you this. I don't think I don't remember, but sweet almond oil. Um, a few drops. I usually do like four drops of rosemary. I don't do a lot because it's really strong. And then I do about ten. Uh, of peppermint oil. So peppermint oil helps stimulate the follicles in your hair. It makes your hair smell really good. So this concoction has will have your hair smelling really, really good. <clears throat> and I usually just take everything and just use my tail end of the comb and I just mix everything in. Mix, mix, mix. It smells really good. So I'm gonna put all of this away not to spill it. <clears throat> this is my first video by the way, so things are just like unorganized and I feel like I look crazy, but um, these products have helped my hair so much. And some of the stuff that I am talking about, I was able to watch different YouTube videos, try out different products and figure out what I like. So this is what helped me to have my hair um, it's healthier, it's fuller. I don't have any before or after pictures, but I have a lot of shrinkage. Like my hair is, you know, pretty, pretty long. My hair has never been this long before, um, ever in my whole entire life. And once I um, started to use these products, um, I began to see a change. Once I started to drink more water, um, I began to see a change. So definitely your water intake, um, plays a factor in your hair growth. Um, and then the products that I use to wash my hair also, but I can talk about that another time. But my secret ingredient that um, I've been using is um, biotin. I put, um, 
it depends on how much oil I have. It depends on how much biotin. Um, I, I take them out. I put a... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just getting over a cold. So I have a lot of phlegm still in my throat. That flu is going around, which is crazy. Um, so I usually take my pen and I, and I don't feel like I'm looking at the camera, right? I feel like, okay, I should be looking over there and I keep looking over here. Um, but like I said, I'm new to all of this, so I really don't know. Um, so I take my pen, I stick a pen in it and if you squeeze it, I don't know if you can see, but if you squeeze it, some of the biotin comes out. So you want to put that directly in your oils. Um, and that's what I've been doing instead of taking the actual pill um, and ingesting it. So some people find that taking a pill works for them. For me, I put it directly on my hair mixed with the oils. So today I am using just four capsules. Um, I'm opening them up, I'm taking the pen, putting it straight through the middle and just squeezing it out. Some may be left over, but that's okay. Just squeeze out as much as you can. So you make sure you're getting it all out. <coughs> um, and then, I don't know if I can show you what it looks like in the bowl because I'm gonna end up spilling it, so that's not gonna work. But a biotin, is mixed and then I take my rat tail comb and just mix, 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 mix to make sure it's all combined with the smelly good essential oils and just mix that all up. Um, so my hair, I, I, I just recently had it in um, twists, two, two strand twists. Um, so it's a little curly, it's a little bushy, but now it's um, time for a wash time to replenish, time to clean my scalp. Um, I had my hair like this maybe a week and a half. Um, yes, Ari. Hi. <coughs> so my daughter's coming in here right now. Yes, Ari. What are you doing? I am doing uh, my first YouTube video. Um, what are you looking at? You should have a channel? Yes, I'm gonna try. Can I be in it? Sure. Um, but Hello. If Yes, but if for this video, you can just chill out in the background and just let me, because I'm really nervous, okay? All right, so I, um, where was I, where was I, where was I? I came from Two Strand Twists, um, and then I usually put the rollers at the end to curl it. But that could be another video. If I decide to do another video, that could be another video. So basically, I like to part my hair in fours, and my hair is pretty much always in fours, so it seems like I have a forever four part in my hair. So I <clears throat> take my comb, and oh, I am forgetting something. This is distilled water. Um with some rosemary oils in the water. Um, and I really can't explain why distilled water. I think I've seen it on somebody else's uh, YouTube video that said it was better to use than water. My daughter's in the background showing you her slime and maybe we can do YouTube videos um, with her and her teaching you how to do slime. I know there's a million slime videos out there, but it's like, nothing like Ariana's video. <clears throat> I made this like fluffy slime and show you This is for Shania. It's for my family. Okay. So I'm pretty much parting my hair in fours. Um, parts doesn't have to be perfect because, you know, it's not a hairstyle that you're creating. You're pretty much just getting it in sections so it's easier for you to um, manage. So I usually, um, I got these clips from Sally Beauty Store. I don't remember how much they cost, but I usually, any clips or any bobby pins or any um, scrunchies or anything that you can do to kind of keep your hair separated will be helpful. Because this can get really messy and it can get really oily. <clears throat> so 
I always start with this side of my hair and then I do this one, then I do this one, then I do this one. Always. Don't it, no order is specific. Whatever order you prefer um, is best for you, then that's what you go with, go with. Okay? So I'm just straightening up my bathroom camera because it's getting messy. And that's neither here nor there. I just like to have things like in order. Um what you're okay. look, look. It's really stretchy. Oh no. it. Okay, so I like to start with this part, then I go around my edges, sorry, around this part, and then I individually section off and then do the scalp in between. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna take one aloe gel square. So pretty much I buy a whole, <clears throat> sorry if I'm unorganized, but pretty much I buy a whole long piece of real aloe vera from the supermarket or from the um, street markets, so farmer's market, if you know, wherever you can find it. Um, and I cut it in fours, I cut it in fours. Um, and then pretty much it's the gel that comes from it that you can see. And it's a lot of gel in here. And even when you start to scrape your scalp, you're gonna notice this is gonna dry up, but I usually take my comb and I stab it a little bit so the um, gel can come from underneath. Um, and like I said before, this pretty much scrapes your scalp, all the product, all the dead skin, everything that you've been putting in your hair is gonna give your scalp a nice wash. Um, cause you know, we do wash our scalp. Hopefully we're washing our scalp when we're washing our hair in the shower and we're either using our massage brush or whatever the case may be and we getting in, but this is really going to get, <clears throat> excuse me, the stuff out of your scalp. So, um, I like to spray first just to get my hair a little moist cause it's dry. Just a little bit of spray. I don't comb my hair a lot because I try to um, keep my hair and I don't want to break my hair or damage my hair. Oops. Sorry, my iPad just fell out. So I'm filming with you guys inside of the medicine cabinet in order for my iPad to stay. So, hmm? can you take the case off? No, I don't want to take my case off. For no, you can take it off. Just like... I had it flipped and that's when it fell because maybe because you're stomping I don't know um, so sorry again first video this may seem crazy but I'm excited about doing it um, so just spray till your hair is moist um, like I said I don't like combing my hair if I do comb my hair I comb it very lightly or if I do comb my hair to get the tangles I also have um, a detangler um, brush which is from Goody. Um, not sure where I got it from, don't remember, but um, I just bought this so I'm trying it. I tried it out and I really like it. Um, the hair gets caught in um, a little bit. You can just rinse it off, just comes right off. But I'll just lightly kind of just brush my hair. But right now, <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the um, aloe. Should just take it like this. Mine is really cold because it was in the refrigerator. And you just rub it on your scalp. You don't have to scrub hard because aloe vera is a natural plant and it's really strong and powerful. Um, so you just rub your scalp, rub your scalp. You go to your sides and you just rub, 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 rub. And rub, 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 rub. You can do circles, you can do up and down, it doesn't matter. You just make sure that you're giving your hair a good scrubbing. I usually like to go to the back and do like this. I need to, because now my, um, you see last time when I, there was gel that came out and now it's getting a little dry on the surface. So I usually just take my comb and stab, 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 stab. And then we'll start to see some of the gel come up again. Because <clears throat> there's lots of gel in it. Don't think that there are no gels. Gel is, is gone and you need to use another square. So I'm going to go back to this one. 
Just make sure I scrub, 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 scrub. And then this is where um, I start to section off little bit by little. <coughs> um, as you get to doing this, you get used to what things you need and clips you need and it won't take as long. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna, but it doesn't take long to do. So you clean your scalp, rub it in, clean your scalp. No, love, I have not seen your iPad. Um, last, last where, last place I saw it was, um, in your book bag, your jean book bag. Oh yeah, it's in your jeans So you scrub. Scrub, 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 and you take a clip out, and then you part some more. Um, and as you do it, I guess I'm gonna just use the comb to hold it because it's easier. As you do it, you start to feel your scalp being, it, it's much cleaner. It's much, it's a different feeling once you start doing this, like, just feels really good and my aloe is cold so it feels really good to my scalp right now <clears throat> okay and I'm just gonna take the comb because it's starting to get dry again so every now and then once it starts to get a little dry on the surface you just stab 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 and then voila more gel and aloe vera, um, some people also use the um, the one that comes in the bottle. This is the one I have. Um, if I don't have any aloe plant, I will use this one. It's not the same, um, but this says it's 99% aloe vera jelly. And then there is a 100% pure and natural gel. My husband uses this for his hair. Um, he, he uses this in place of grease, hair grease that he used to use. He knows that the hair grease were, was flaking. Um, so he uses that for his um, hair and his skin. So you just keep parting until you're about finished. And just be gentle. And then you scrub, 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 scrub. It just feels so refreshing. Like that's that's the word I'm gonna use. It feels really refreshing. And then I usually rub some of the gel in my hair. I take my fingers and I just rub my scalp, making sure that it's in all over the section. I'm giving it a little massage, stimulating my blood cells, my blood vessels, just stimulating my scalp. Some people like to use a um, hair massage. I have one of those. Hold on. Gotta get it. It's in the shower. <coughs> move it. Move it. Move it. <laughs> it's one of these. Um, I like to, with the shampoo, use it, not with stuff like this, oh, you but you can just take it and just massage your scalp with it. Okay, so then now, with this section, I'm finished with the aloe, but this section we have to do the oils. So, um, it can get really messy. Um, any oils that spill, I, you know, don't let any oils go to waste because it's very expensive, some of these essential oils. So I pretty much done. And you can also heat this up. I mean, don't heat it in a metal um, bowl um, if you use it in a microwave, but you can heat it up or you can put the metal bowl in a bowl in a pan filled with water on the stove and you can put the um, bowl into the hot water to heat up um, the aluminum. But please do not put this in the microwave. So I pretty much take some on my hand for this part and I just go and do the same where I did the aloe. So I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do there. So I do the same pattern. And then I'll do my edges. And this helps, I notice my edges don't break as much as they used to because sometimes I do wear ponytails. Okay, be on the phone, <coughs> go back and find me. Bye. 
And then now I'll start taking piece by piece. And I will now make sure I oil my hair. And this pretty much moisturizes your hair. Some people like to detangle using their fingers. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos with um, people detangling using their fingers. Some people like to use a detangler. And then some people like to use a wide tooth comb. Whatever is your preference, I just 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 be gentle. Um, so I make sure I oil all of this. I make sure I get the ends of my hair and put it at the ends of your hair. It helps prevent breakage, um, split ends. But I make sure it's all in. Give a little massage. Make sure massage, massage. I always say massage, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, then you just part some more a little bit as you go. <clears throat> And then you take some oils, make sure you get on the root, make sure you go through the shaft, Mommy, just use your fingers. Glue? Where did I put the what? My glue. All of their glue and shaving cream and everything is in the closet. The glue that we have I used. I don't know, it's on the table, I, don't, I didn't move it. All right. okay. And then you just lightly brush through. It's not much hair um, that has come off, just a little bit. Um, but we have to shed hair um, because that's just what happens. We lose hair, but we don't want to lose as much hair. We want to try to keep, hold on to our hair. <clears throat> Please leave in the comment section um, how I'm doing. <laughs> this is my first video. I'm nervous. Um, but I just wanted to, I mean, I know there's thousands of videos out there of many different beautiful women and i'm thankful for all of them um who take the time to do this because this takes time um but if it wasn't for all of those beautiful queens out there doing these videos i wouldn't have the healthy hair and the hair growth that i have so um i just felt you know just and every time i did my hair i'm just like oh i just want to be able to um you know do a video to show what i do um, and the products that I use and what's helpful for me because what's what helpful for one is not helpful for all what works for one does not work for all so um, I I felt inspired by <clears throat> the other youtubers to um, create a video so please leave in the comment section you know anything that I can do differently <laughs> um, if there's any questions or um, any type of videos that you would like for me to do, um, I'll be welcome to all feedback. Um, just be graceful with me, please. Please be gracious. Um, so, I mean, we're still in this section. I could have been done before, but I'm just taking it easy just to show you. Um, every time I put my hand down, I'm, I'm dipping in the bowl. Um, for more oils, by the way. Okay, I really haven't, um, and I'll research on how to, you know, when you see the YouTube videos and they're just like, oh, I'm going to do the next four, three sections and then I'll get back to you and then they'll speed it up or then they'll pause or whatever and it comes back. So since this <clears throat> is my first video, I have no idea how to do that fancy stuff. Um, just take your hands again and just massage the oils into your scalp. Just like this. Use your temples. Okay. And then I pretty much take my hair, put it in two, and I just twist it. You don't have to twist it. You can pin it back up. You can braid it. Um, whatever works for you. So I don't know if you can see all of the oils in the aloe are in my hair. And I just do a little twist like this. And then I put the clip back in. Um, so just for the remaining parts, I'm going to do... Oh, I can't find my spray. Oh. I'm going to do the same thing in all of the rest of the parts. 
this is the part of the video where I wish I knew how to speed up. So I just wet my hair. Make sure it's wet. Um, and I take that same piece of aloe that I was just using. I don't know if you could see, you know, compared to one that's not used. That's what it starts to look like when it's used. And this is what it looks like when it's not used. But there's still gel in here. We want to make sure you can use your fingers. We want to make sure that we get all this good juicy gel out. So I'm going to use my comb. Stab, stab, stab. And then I'm going to just scrape. I'm going to start down the middle. And I'm going to go at the nape here. And then I'm going to go still again in this same crease. So I'm just scrub, scrub, scrub. <clears throat> and even if you want to go down a little lower, usually my husband shapes me up back there. Hey, sunshine. Do you have any more um, contact solution? I do not have any. Oh, uh, I do have more contact solution. Ooh, mommy saved the day. Hey, you. She's the best. You would love her YouTube. No, you're just saying that because you make it. All right, beat it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, so I'm going to need another aloe because that one is out. So I'm going to use a nice, fresh piece. And I'm pretty much going to do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to part sections in the back. Pin it up when needed. And I'm just going to scrub the back of my hair. Scrub, scrub, scrub. And then I'm gonna part some more. You can part with your fingers, you can part with the comb. And then I'm gonna take my aloe, scrub some more. I have to hurry up because my daughter has research that she needs to search and she needs my help. Or prefers my help because she has her daddy there that can help her <clears throat> okay um, rub, 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 rub. and then Get in a little dress, a little stab, stab, stab. It's pretty much the same procedures over and over and over again. And you can rub your scalp however alone you want to, but aloe vera is really strong. So it is getting through just by the little bit that I'm doing. I am gonna speed it up just a little bit. Like I said, I have to help her with her report. And I am a college student too, and I start semester um, tomorrow, God's willing. And so I need to prepare for school also. So I, I'm gonna take my oils. I'm going to go around here, just dab go around here, and go down the middle, and go in the back. And I'm just gonna, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna part into sections as many as I need. Take the oil, down, make sure the whole thing is covered, make sure your ends are covered. Just gonna detangle a little, make sure that oil is in there. Wow, it's amazing. Like my hair has never been this long ever and i'm saying like to me this is a big thing a big deal because my hair probably come up to here maybe um but this is a big deal for me so um and i got my hair to be this length from doing what i'm doing um so it was a blessing for me to receive this information. I, I mean, I got some of these things from different YouTubers. Um, 
different um, websites, um, different people who, you know, hairdressers or just people who I know who, you know, use essential oils um, and aloe and just showing me ways to do it, different ways to do it. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. I hope I am clear and this makes sense and this is helpful. I always start at the ends and work my way up. I've seen people start here and work their way down. Not sure if there's a wrong or right way to do it in terms of, oh, wrong clip, in terms of um, what's ah, better for your hair or breakage for your hair. This is the most terrible sign I've ever made. Show them. You can't be making YouTube most videos. Most terrible being a sign, sign like this. ever made. Oh, gosh. Um, I can't be, what I have to do is that. Sorry, as soon as I finish, we can, oh, you can, we can, um, do your research. Oh my gosh. Okay? Wait. Did you hear me? Yes. Okay. I need to fix this. I don't know how. Well, go handle it and come back with a miracle. Okay. Just scrub my scalp all together. Make sure it's all in. Sometimes I even just take some oil and I just, you know, do like a finish. And then I... Twist, twist, I should just see like all the oils inside of my hair, let the piece out well, and then um, wrap it up. <coughs> and then do the same thing with this side. Spray. spray bottle I was able to get from um, Harmon face values I don't know if that's in your area um, I'm from the Westchester area um, it's 149 for that uh, I'm sure I could find that cheaper somewhere so I'm gonna go back to my old old aloe, aloe um, that I used for this back still got some gel let's scrub this again Inside. And I'm gonna use my fingernails to stab, stab, stab. And believe it or not, um, I don't really keep long nails. I don't really care for long nails because I, I picked them. Um, but just because this oils and, uh, and aloe and the biotin, it's in my finger fingernails. My nails have been growing faster and getting stronger. And but I don't really care for nails, especially I feel like once they get dirty, then I'll be picking them. And but <clears throat> I guess this is a good concoction for nail growth if you're interested. Okay, my hair's a little tangled, so I like to kind of just spray a little bit because I don't want to break my hair so I kind of put more spray to kind of loosen it up so I'm going to take a new piece new piece again scrub my scalp since I put the aloe on your ends and I'm just going to do the oils back to back just for the sake of time. I don't even know how much time you are allowed to record on YouTube. Um, if there's a limit, 
such an amateur, and I admit that. <clears throat> so what'd you come up with? I combined the two songs. You combine the old with the new. Very good problem solving. You were able to figure that on your own. I'm just going to take my hands to finger detangle. Worst slime ever turns into best slime. Oh, look at there. All I had to do is just add more glue. And I added the one <coughs> that I made already. And I added it to the new one that I just made. And it pokes so well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's some good salt right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So again, you just scrub, 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 and then put your oil down. Make it the ends. If you can see the difference between this piece and that piece, like how moisturized and and how it's just starting to the the oils are starting to get in and it's just sucking up in my hair. It's just sucking it up. I love it. Well, tonight because I have so much to do, I'm only gonna keep this in my hair for about an hour and a half, maybe. Normally. I'll either keep it in for hours and the last week or when I last washed my hair um, I kept it in um, overnight <clears throat> and it wasn't messy I thought that the oils would drip and my pillowcase and my mattress and everything would be oily and my husband would be complaining I'm like what is this what are you doing to the bed but um, it was pretty good it was, it was pretty good. Again, get my oils. Get, make sure you get the ends. Okay, got one more piece to go for this section. Just a little bit. Section is done. Um, okay. Okay. Once over. And two strand twists. I got one more section to go. I'm so excited. <sighs> I wish I had a hairdresser sometimes to do this for me. Sometimes I get lazy. I don't want to do it at all. Okay, spray, last section of the night. We spray, we spray, we spray, 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 spray. Make sure it's nice and moist. And then we take our, we're gonna take a fresh one, fresh aloe vera. I'm gonna do the middle, I'm gonna do the sides, I'm gonna do the back, middle, just scrub. Even though they've, they've already been done, it's just a pattern that I like to use. <coughs> and do the back. Um, I think I started to say, like, this time I'm going to leave it on for an hour and a half. Um, but I believe it's preferred to leave it in overnight. So the oils can really, really soak up in your hair. And just a note to self, 
make sure that you don't have anything to do the next morning or any responsibilities to do because on the work because you're gonna have to leave your hair like this and you don't wanna be walking around looking crazy. Um, one time I had to go out, I don't remember for what, but I had to go out and I had to put um, a hat on, but I had to keep my scarf and everything on. I had to find the biggest hat, I had to keep my scarf and everything on because I didn't want to, I couldn't take it off because then the oils and everything, it wasn't ready to, you know, go in the wash right away and I had to go out. So just note to self, if you're doing this and you're going to leave it overnight, make sure you have no responsibilities the next day so you can wake up, get your hair in the wash, um, and then you're good to go. <clears throat> so I'm losing track of my aloe pieces, okay. Scrub. Nice scrubbing. Okay, last couple of sections and then we are done. Dun, 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 dun. And I don't know, this part of my hair tends to have like a texture of its own, like, and it tends to grow weird. So if you see one side is longer so this side is going to stop while this side continues i don't know it's weird it grows really weird um okay last section scrub 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 and sometimes you may scrub really hard and some of the um aloe uh, i guess we'll call it pulp but some of the jelly from it will come off into your hair and it'll stay in your hair unless you take it out. And even when you're washing it, it still will stay in your hair. So you have to be mindful of it and make sure you pick it out. Because you don't want pieces of aloe just chilling in your hair. Okay, this section is done. We're finally done. Um, I'm just gonna keep this video to this part um until i get better then i'll um you know do a little more but then i'll wrap that up put my clip on um i usually put my shower cap over this and then um i put an old t-shirt over the shower cap i'll just show you just for the sake of <laughs> and sometimes i have used um plastic wrap as well. So I'm going to take my clips out and I'm going to just make sure that these are secure and they're not going to fall down. So I just do a little twist, a little bantu knot. And so I put my shower cap on. This is shower cap has been used many many times. So put my shower cap on. Make sure that it's on. It needs to be in place. This is really worn, so it's lost its elasticity. Elasticity. <laughs> and then um, there's an old T-shirt. Um, I also dry my hair out of, when I wash my hair, I don't dry my hair with a towel. I use um, a t-shirt and some YouTube I saw or something on the internet, I don't remember, said that um, it does less damages to your hair follicles if you use a t-shirt because the material is different. And I'll put this on the head. 
and then I'll twist. That way I won't be looking crazy around the house. I look like a queen that I am. And voila. I'm going to leave it in for an hour and a half. I am going to wash my hair today. Uh, I'll show you what I wash my hair with um, normally. But today I'm going to be washing my hair with something different for the first time. Um, I'm not sure if I can say where I got it from um, or which because I, I ordered I don't know where my shampoo is. Hold on, I'm sorry. That's right in front of me. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Um, let me get the other. So normally I use, and I love, swear by Shea Moisture. Most of their products, um, styles I have tried right now, Strengthening Growth Restore Shampoo is my best friend. And along with the um, conditioner, I do use the leave-in conditioner as well. I do have that for after, so I can, um, you know, maybe one day, if I have enough confidence, do a YouTube video on how I twist my hair um, and the stuff and the oils and products that I use with that. Um, so I swear by this. And usually, if you look, they usually have kind of uh, a, a product for whatever you need for your hair. So if you have damage, if you have curly hair, um, if you have coily hair, they pretty much... Um, have something for you um not promoting them whatsoever no one paid me to say that i just really like that product. so see there was a little piece of aloe that was on my neck so all right and another product that i use is by lush um i use the barely traded honey shampoo which smells amazing and i use the retread hair conditioner uh, which also smells amazing like I wish that you guys could smell this like oh my gosh and all of these products that I believe this is more natural than this but um, I try my best to use natural products I'm trying to learn about products um, there's some products that aren't natural that I like but I'm trying my best to go as natural as possible I've always had natural hair um, I got a perm when I was like seven and I don't even think that counts because she just put the liquid crack in it one time and it took my hair out and that was enough for me to say never ever doing the liquid crack. And also I've been reading up on the chemicals that is in the those products. They go to your hair, they go to your scalp, they're going in your body and through your body and it may not be the best for your body. Um, and my last product that I'm trying, um, because I don't have, um, I mean, I don't have permission for these products either, but these products you can buy in the store and everybody knows about them. Um, this particular, um, soap, um, it's a natural soap. Um, I don't have rights to, and, you know, promote it, um, but I can reach out and, um, you know, ask. Um, but this is a soap that is used for your hair. I guess you can use it on your body, but it's activated charcoal um, soap. It looks black. It smells amazing. Um, so I ordered this from um, a guy who does YouTube videos, um, and his products are really amazing. Again, I wish I can share with you um, and I'll reach out to him by email and see if he's okay with me giving him a shout out, shout out his products. I don't care. Um, so that will conclude this amateur first time YouTube video. Um, again, comments, I need feedback. I need to know what I need to improve on. I'm always the type of person that always wanna learn more. I am here to help. I am a child of God just trying to help 
my brothers and sisters with how beautiful they want to be. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for allowing me to be with you during this time. 